everyone, it's Liam with Lovely Scrappin. I'm here to show you another project I made, and this is for Joanne. It's her birthday present. It's a little late, but um, um, anyway, I finally was able to get some solid time to finish it. So um, she liked my um, the one I made myself. Let me just show you guys if you haven't seen it already. So this was mine I had made to go with my room, and I have a video on that. It's actually a start to finish video. And so she had liked that one, and I thought, well, if you like it, do you want me to make one to coordinate with your room? And she said, sure. So she knows that I'm making one for her, but she just doesn't know exactly what it's going to look like. And her room colors are, of course, um, this gorgeous purple, black, and like a, a cream color. So um, this is what I made. I really hope she likes it. Of course, it's a pin cushion, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> Um, very Victorian shabby chic looking. So uh, let's just get started. Um, I made um, I made pretty much if you want to see how I made my other one just watch my start to finish video. I used the same type of a metal tin that I got from my dollar store and I just um, that I put yeah I put this this um, kind of a satin cream fabric on it first and then I um, layered on top of that um, the this lace this black lace and it actually just looks like this and I think this one I got from you Cass thank you so much I love it so anyway I put it on there and actually put Mod Podge over it to seal it so it's nice and um, stuck down really nicely and it's got a little bit of a gloss to it and then I made this box pleated trim using some purple satin ribbon and I layered cream limp ribbon over top of that and then some of this fabulous um, black bling and you can find this at Pro 31 Designs and um, and then up here, it's that fringe, I don't know if I have any on hand, I think I put it away, um, but it's like that fringe trim I got from Frog Feathers, and I double layered it. So I put one going this way and one the other going this way, and then over top of that, I just put some of these purple bling pieces I had in my stash. So I just put that all along the back. And um, and then so for the front, I just made this using the ribbon. I just um, folded the ribbon in half like I did the one on mine. And then I just sewed it kind of a thing. And then um, I just put it into like this sort of a circle. And then I layered lace on top of that. And I took a cameo. And this was actually, it used to look like this. And I painted it with some a deeper purple acrylic paint. And then I colored the white part a cream color to go with the cream so it wasn't so white. And um, that's how I altered it. So I, of course, took it off of this metal frame. So I can use that metal frame some uh, with another cameo if I wanted to. And then I put that bling around it again. And then this little teeny tiny piece is actually from an earring piece that I had bought specifically for crafts. And I took it off, and I'll show you the other piece of it back here. And then I put just a little bow with some black satin ribbon and a piece of bling there. And so it's kind of dangles right off over top of that. Oh, and then the back of this purple, I put this black tool. And again, I sewed it, and kind of like how I do my pure wet flowers. If you haven't seen my tutorial on that, go check it out. And um, I just, and I can post the link to that below too if you're interested in watching my pure wet flower tutorial. And you just do a straight stitch and then scrunch it the same way. And I double layered it. So it's two layers of the black tool, so it kind of shows a little bit more. And then on this side, I just did a cluster of some flowers. Um, so one here that I sprayed, it's just a cream color, and I just sprayed it with some Perfect Pearls and Water. And this was just a cream color cherry blossom that I actually painted with some dusty Concord ink. And then it wasn't quite the tone I wanted, so then I went over top of it with the um, same acrylic paint that I used for this here. And then I added some silver stickles in the center and in the back there. Let's see if I can focus so you can kind of see the silver. And then um, for here, it was just, um, it was a light purple porcelain flower that I again painted with the same color as the stuff here with the purple acrylic paint. And this was a little teeny tiny rose in there. And then you can't quite see it, but here is a little black flower as well. And um, I made this sort of a spray here with some beads I had in my stash. The beads come out there. And then I made a daisy spray. Hopefully you guys can make that out. And um, I was thinking about doing a tutorial. Um, I do have a bead spray tutorial, and I'll post the link to that below as well. So um, it's kind of using the same idea, um, except um, using a daisy 
I don't know if you guys made beaded jewelry, but it's um, the way to make like a daisy chain, but a little bit different. I just modified it a bit to make this um, daisy spray, beaded spray. So I really like how that turned out. And um, I could do a tutorial on that if you guys like. Just let me know, leave some comments, and if I get lots of feedback on it, then I can do a tutorial for you. And then I just added a little um, metal butterfly charm there, which I thought worked out perfect. And then on this side, I just kind of put a cherry blossom there, and this was a pink flower, and I again painted it with um, the same purple acrylic paint. And then this was again, um, it was a light purple porcelain rose, and I colored it with, or painted it again with the same purple acrylic paint and added stickles along the edges of the rose. And then added some beads that I had in my stash, this little bead spray I made. I love making bead sprays. I'm kind of addicted to it right now, as you can tell with all my projects. Added some beads just sort of as fillers here. And um, this is just some black leaves I had from um, these flowers. They come with leaves on them, of course, so I just trimmed it and kind of glued it the way I wanted it glued. And then that little black flower I was mentioning looks kind of like this. So they come in like little bundles like that. I love these little flowers, they're so much fun. And um, so that little black flower was the one that I mentioned that's back here. And then I put feathers here too, to kind of make it a little bit staggered looking. Sorry, the window is quite bright outside right now. Um, and then, yeah, that's, so that's what I did there. And then on the back, so this is the earring I mentioned. So this is just um, attached to, it's holding, it's being held here with just a stick pin. And so you just pop that down and it holds it in place so she can take it out and move it around, use it for something else if she wants. And then this is a butterfly made. And again, I put it onto a stick pin so she can put the butterfly anywhere, anywhere she wants on this. Um, and she can even take it out and use it on a project if she wants. So um, I do have a tutorial on how I made my ribbon butterflies. I, I can post a link below for that too. This one I just made a little different by adding those little mini roses onto it, of course, and then sticking a pin through the felt in the back so that I could put it right here. So that's just the way it looks right now. I really hope she likes it. And I have made stick pins to coordinate with this theme and this color, and I'll show you that in another video because I also made her a card, yay! I'm not really much of a card maker. I have made a few. I don't think I've ever done a video showing them. I have, I have posted some pictures on my uh, Facebook, I think. But anyways, I'll show you the card that I made her in another video. So anyways, guys, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned. I'll post some still pictures at the end of my little spiel here. Okay? So please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Take care, everyone. And Joanne, I hope you like it. It's made specially for you, girl. Okay, take care, everyone. Happy scrapping. Bye.